Aloha my friends, Christina here, and I'm so happy to be back in a new video with you today to share with you a what I ate today video slash vlog of my life here in Hawaii. And much of what I will be talking about today are mistakes that I have made the last few months and how I'm currently working to correct them. I do not have a good work-life balance in my life right now, and one of the biggest challenges that I'm currently facing is my insomnia or my extreme lack of sleep. I hope that you watch until the end because there is a lot that I share with you in this video. It takes all of my energy to run a nine acre farm with 700 newly planted fruit trees, run multiple businesses, film and edit my own videos, and foster and rescue animals. I've taken it all on. It's hard for me to ask for help and just when I think I cannot learn any more about setting better boundaries for myself, new lessons arise. I've been averaging three to five hours of sleep every night for the past three, maybe four months, and it has impacted every area of my life. I have found myself constantly overwhelmed and extremely burnt out. Some of you might have noticed that I have not posted as much in the last few months, and this is why. I'm doing the best I can, and yet it's not enough. I don't want to make the same mistakes again. I have already learned from these mistakes. So now it's time for me to truly step back into my healthy habits and hold myself accountable so that I can get back into a rhythm that makes me feel my happiest. I'm gonna be talking a lot about healthy habits, balance, restoration, and sleep in this video. And I'm so happy to share that this video is in collaboration with Osea, my favorite vegan, organic, cruelty-free, sustainably sourced, and seaweed-based skincare brand. If you've seen any of my previous videos, then you know I absolutely love Osea, and I use their skincare products on my face and skin every single day. I'll be talking about Osea later on in this video, but I have to let you know that they just launched their new Collagen Dream Night Cream. It is the first night cream clinically proven to reduce the effects of stress on skin. Osea stands for Ocean Sun, Earth and Air, and it's a small female-founded business that is vegan and cruelty-free, climate neutral and ocean positive, and clean since 1996. The new Collagen Dream Night Cream is inspired by psychodermatology, which is the connection between our mind and our skin. And this nighttime moisturizer goes beyond the benefits of a typical night cream, reviving dry, stressed, and aging skin. This lavender-colored night cream has a whipped, silky texture that feels as good as it smells. It's proven to reduce the effects of stress on skin, it visibly reduces lines and wrinkles, it hydrates, softens, and smooths overnight, and it is clinically proven to firm your skin within two weeks. Its key ingredients include bioretinol, vegan collagen, king of bitters, and wild lavender. Wake up to skin that is rested, refreshed, and radiant. I just started using this Collagen Dream Night Cream a few weeks ago, and I have to tell you, it's a game changer. I'm absolutely obsessed. So if you're someone like me who doesn't sleep well, or if you want to combat the effects of stress skin, this is a dream cream that you should definitely give a try. Osea has been so gracious to offer you 10% off your entire vegan skincare order using the code FULLYDREAM. That code is on the screen for you as well as in the description below along with a link that will take you straight to Osea's page. I hope you take advantage of Osea's special discount code here, and I hope you love their products as much as I do. I have a lot to share with you in this video, so let's dive in. I've been struggling to find balance. My biggest mistake I've made has been getting back into my sleepless routine. Another mistake I've recently made has been giving up my normal workout routine. I've stopped my weight training and lifting routine. I'm just now getting back into it. Other mistakes I've made include not putting my basic needs first, not being able to say no, essentially not having good boundaries. These actions have resulted in me not having time for proper self-care, 
or even to spend time with my loved ones. All of these mistakes have trickled into every area of my life, changing the energy of my days completely. This is one of my closest friends, Lulu. We've been doing our morning workouts together, getting back on track with our routines, and I'm so grateful for Lulu because she's so supportive and kind. We hold one another accountable, have fun, and get goofy while moving our bodies in the early morning rising light. I planted these bananas a little less than two years ago, and today is harvest day. Behind me, I have a mix of Thai bananas and apple bananas. Let me show you what we got. Look how beautiful and full these bananas are. It's absolutely crazy to me that I am growing the bananas that I'm using in my smoothie bowls every day. These are beautiful bananas. Bananas grow in tiny ecosystems just like this one. And each banana palm or shoot produces one banca of bananas or produces one harvest of bananas. So today I'm gonna to be cutting down this harvest of bananas. I'm not killing the tree. I'm actually going to be sustainably cutting it so that new shoots can pop up and this ecosystem of bananas can continue to produce more bananas. Now that I'm harvesting so many fruits, I have to stay on top of a food prep and storage schedule. I make time to freeze bananas so that I can use them in my recipes and smoothie bowls daily. There have been some other new developments on the property lately that have involved lots of new planting. I'll share this with you in a future video. You know it's been a ridiculously long day. When, oh, you have to throw away your shoes and your pants look like this, and your feet look like this. <laughs> this is what we like to call hot mess mode in the rain after having been planted all day, planting all day. Oh my gosh. Whew. But it was worth it. Mid-morning, I usually take a shower to refresh after my morning workout and planting. The elements here can be harsh on my skin, so I wash and moisturize often. I wanted to give you all an update since my feed has been radio silent the past couple of days. Um, this past week has been a very interesting week. Um, New Year's Day, we found my cat, Zorro, in this back forest behind my house, completely bloody and mangled after having survived what we think was um, a, an animal attack, maybe even a really, really brutal cat fight. Um, when we found him, he couldn't walk. He was just laying under a tree in a pile of leaves, mangled and bloody. We got him to the vet. He got, he's been to the vet several times, but he, he had to be stitched up and I've just been nursing him back to health. And then yesterday, <laughs> as I was driving into town, I ran out into the middle of the highway and saved a starving chihuahua from getting hit by cars. Come here, baby. Zoro is recovering really well, thank goodness. I won't be sharing very many photos or videos of him here because they're graphically disturbing and he has so many wounds all over his body that's really hard to look at. We had to shave off his entire butt, <laughs> basically all the fur on his butt just so that we could put in the stitches and there's a hole like the size of my thumb right below his tail. He almost lost his tail. His tail almost got bitten and yanked off. My heart is calling in as much kindness and compassion as I can for animals and for all living beings. And 
to be quite honest, I've, I've just gotten really upset because I don't understand why people are not more compassionate or kind to animals. It takes absolutely nothing to be kind to an animal and the amount of neglect and abuse that I've seen in terms of animals and animals getting hurt recently has been astronomical, right? Even the Humane Society here on island is over capacity. Um, I'm calling in kindness and I'm calling in compassion for all living beings at this moment in time. It's like Dr. Doolittle over here, you guys. Um, and I don't really know why all this is happening, but I can tell you that my heart chooses compassion and kindness and I would like to make a difference here however I can and just encouraging people to be kind to animals and it goes so far beyond food. I guess that's the, my takeaway message today is that being vegan isn't just about food, it's about showing kindness and compassion to animals in every way that you can. I just wanted to give you all an update on the chihuahua that I pulled off the side of the highway the other day. And she's currently in veterinary care at the Humane Society and we have made the decision and we are hoping um, that she will be able to come back and uh, receive hospice care for me for the rest of her time here. And the intention is to give her the kindest, most compassionate place to live out the rest of her life. And it's just really such a sad situation because we've discovered she's about 15 years old, potentially a broken back leg, pelvis, is partially uh, blind and maybe deaf. There's just so many health issues going on. So, so many of you have been messaging me and asking me about her and I'm still waiting to hear back as well. So I will keep you posted and thank you. As of recent, not only have I been harvesting lots of Samoan coconuts, but also my friends and neighbors have been dropping some off. So I've been making fresh coconut milk. It's so insanely delicious, it's actually become one of my latest obsessions. Coconuts contain so much nutrition. I'll juice the water with the coconut meat in my J2 juicer and it makes the most incredible milk. Not only is it creamy and sweet, but it's incredibly filling. Also, I use the pulp to make dehydrated coconut crackers and bread so that there's zero waste. It feels really good to be eating what's local and freshly harvested. Even my fur babies love to drink this coconut milk with me. It's been the new favorite in my home. My J2 juicer is the best to make coconut milk and fresh juices, and I love it because it has a wide open hopper that allows you to add in whole ingredients, walk away, and when you come back, fresh juice is made for you. You can get $55 off this juicer using the code FULLYRAW55, and that's also linked below for you. I think it's so cute when Zoro, Simba, and Coco drink the coconut milk. Coco gets a milk mustache. Lunch lately has been smoothie bowls using the bananas I'm harvesting along with my neighbor's mangoes. I'll also add in Sun Warrior's vegan collagen building protein peptides, their super greens, and coconut water. I do supplement and I love Sun Warrior's liquid vitamins, minerals, and omega-3s. Those are linked below for you. Those who've known me for a while know that something I've really struggled with since I was a little girl is insomnia. You don't really realize something is a problem when you're young, but as you get older, you begin to piece things together. It's actually easy for me to not sleep, as weird as that might sound. When I was in my high school and college years, I'd average around four to five hours of sleep each night. I got away with it because I was so focused on studying at night and writing papers early into the hours of the morning. Then, when I entered my co-op and tutoring years, I got away with sleeping an average of three hours every night. This went on for about 15 years. I had so much work to do, I was working three jobs, and I convinced myself that I didn't have time to sleep. So, I wouldn't. It became a joke for a while amongst friends that, oh, Christina doesn't need to sleep. But the truth is, I think I was able to get away with it for so long because of my healthy diet and because eating raw vegan is so energizing. However, 
It did eventually catch up to me in my early 30s, and I spent a good year, maybe more, creating the time and space for me to sleep a proper eight hours a night. Sleeping has had such a positive impact on my life, I realized that I was experiencing major fatigue, carrying extra physical and emotional weight because of it, and that sleep is just as much an essential element of health as nutrition, exercise, and more. I thought I had overcome my insomnia or corrected this pattern, but the last three to four months, I found myself slipping back into my old patterns of not sleeping. I found myself so overwhelmed and burnt out that sleep became impossible and turned into complete restlessness. I'm not proud of this, and it's not fun for me to talk about, but it's real. I love my life, and I love all the aspects within it, but when I start giving up my sleep, my workouts, my time with loved ones, calls with my family, my regular eating times, my boundaries, and more, I know I'm way out of balance. For dinner, one of my favorite humans and I went to visit a newly opened raw food spot called Mandala, and it was absolutely delicious. We ordered multiple dishes on the menu because we wanted to try everything. It's not every day that a new raw vegan restaurant opens in Hawaii, so we were so excited to support them and try the food. We enjoyed their raw vegan lasagna, pad thai, sushi, burgers, dessert, and more. Then, unexpectedly, it started to rain on us, so we had to pack everything quickly to go and finish our meal at home. It was a spontaneous and satisfying night. I think more than anything right now, one of the greatest lessons I have to learn in this lifetime is not to abandon myself because it's so easy to abandon my needs and all of the things that bring me joy in service or in sacrifice of others or the needs of others or other things that I might deem more important. And this is where boundaries and discernment come in. And boundaries and discernment have been my life's greatest lessons. Um, I know I've talked about boundaries and discernment a lot and also creating safe spaces for oneself because that's how I've managed to pull through finding boundaries for myself and for prioritizing my needs has been to create safe spaces for myself so that I can feel cared for. And if we don't care for ourselves, who will care for us? If we don't take care of our bodies and our minds and our souls, where will we live? Who will do it for us? We have to be able to do it for ourselves. And I've gotten really good at this in many aspects. And then when I get overwhelmed like this, I feel that the lesson becomes larger, more intense. It's almost like the next level lesson. How committed are you to this growth? And I'm committed. So, I'm excited for the next couple of months of being able to be there for myself and come back to myself. And I'm hoping that me sharing my journey will give you the courage to do the same. Thank you all so much for joining me in this video today. If you have liked it, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button because there is only more goodness to come. If you're interested in getting any of Osea's vegan, non-toxic, and cruelty-free skincare products, please use the code FULLYDREAM at checkout, and that special link is included in the description below for you. I hope you take advantage of this discount code, and I hope that you love Osea's products. If you're looking for more raw vegan recipes, please download my Fully Raw Recipe app. It has more than 450 raw vegan recipes waiting for you on my app. My new 14-day meal plan is also now included on my app. So many cool new features are getting ready to be added into my app as well, so go give it a download. It's available on iTunes and Google Play, and those links are in the description below for you. Any and all other links that you might need, whether it be a Nama Juicer, a Vitamix Blender, Sun Warrior, any of those links are in the description below for you along with a new blog post. So please be sure to check out those links below as well. I wanna say thank you for being on this journey with me. It really means the world to me. Most of you have been with me a really long time. So I just wanna say thank you. Thank you for continuing to be in my life and for supporting me and just for offering your kindness at all times and your community it means the world. 
I look forward to seeing you all in my next video. Sending you all my hugs and my love.